calibrate the Hariba twin pH meter, we take the meter and we always calibrate to two points. If we're working below pH 7, we calibrate to pH 7 and 4. If we're working above pH 7, we calibrate to 7 and 10. One of the things you want to do is make sure your meter is set to the right calibration standard. It comes set to the USA standard, but there is also an NIST standard that has calibration at 6.86 and 9.16, um, as opposed to 7.0 and 10.01. So we do pH 7 first. We turn the meter on and put the pH 7 buffer solution into the sample well. We want to make sure we cover both the black measuring electrode and the small white dot to the front that is the reference electrode. Once the reading is stabilized and we get a small happy face on our meter, we push the calibrate button. And that self-calibrates to 7.00. And we get a happy face. To prepare for another reading or for the other calibration, we simply dump out the calibration solution, rinse the electrode off with distilled or deionized water, and shake out the excess water in the uh, meter. We then put in the pH 4 reference solution, wetting both the reference and measuring electrode. We wait for the pH to stabilize again, waiting for the happy face. And again, push the calibrate button to calibrate to the 4.01 setting. And when we get the happy face, we're now calibrated to the pH 7 and pH 4. To measure pHs above 7, we need to calibrate with pH 7 and pH 10. The Hariba meter only comes with 4 and 7 calibration standards, so we use a, a standard from another company or another source and use that to calibrate. So we put in our calibration solution again to cover both electrodes. Get rid of the air bubble. Wait for the reading to stabilize. Again, push the calibration button and wait for the meter to self-calibrate to 10.01 pH. We're all set to go to measure our pH of uh, solution or the surface of a painting. To calibrate the L'Aqua Twin conductivity meter, I only use the low conductivity uh, calibration solution, the 1.41 millisiemen or 1,410 microsiemen. We fill the measurement cavity with the calibration solution, making sure there are no air bubbles, and making sure that the, there is enough solution to contact both of the small black squares that are the measuring electrodes. Once we get a stable reading with the happy face showing, we then push the calibrate button. And we've calibrated to 1,413 microsiemens per centimeter. After we've taken our measurement, we want to rinse out the solution we've just measured, whether it's a calibration standard or some, a solution we're measuring. We simply rinse out the electrode with distilled or deionized water, flushing the previous reading out, and give the meter a shake to remove the excess water. And we're ready to go for it with another conductivity reading of either a paint surface or a solution.